A new proposal could protect young athletes in the wake of the death of a teenage hockey player in our state. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne joins us now with more on the details of a proposal that continues to honor the legacy of Teddy Balkind. Tell us about it, Roger. Hey, good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Wendell. You know, the truth is Teddy Balkind has already had a major impact in the state. He was only 16 when he died, but his death may spark change here in Connecticut. Shortly after Teddy was killed during a high school game last month, more than 50,000 people signed an online petition asking for an important safety upgrade. And now lawmakers appear poised to make that a reality. Teddy, who was from New Canaan and was a sophomore at St. Luke's, died after an opposing player's skate cut his neck during a game in Greenwich. The entire hockey community was in mourning, but they somehow still rallied around Teddy's family and started a movement asking state leaders to require that going forward, all youth hockey players in Connecticut will wear neck guards at all games and practices. And today, legislators will introduce a neck guard bill at the state capitol, which would ensure that Teddy's legacy will help protect many other young athletes in the future. But again, Teddy has already made youth sports safer here in our state. Hockey store owners tell us that over the last few weeks, many families have already begun buying neck guards and they usually range in price from $15 to $70 and hockey store owners say they really can be lifesavers. Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.